if we're going to say that it's okay to pull down statues of people that had some tenuous connection to slavery, should we not also be pulling down statues and sculptures by known paedophiles? No one seems to notice me, is only the sin. What a crazy world we live in. How's your father? Brown bread. Good morning or good afternoon, campers. Hope you're all feeling well. Another little rant as always promised on this fine uh, Sunday afternoon. Now then, um, I'm probably not going to make many friends with this particular one because I've got a very... See, I think it's a traditional slant. Others will say, oh, you're being ridiculous. Um, the BBC, again, um, have always been very quick to, uh, to condemn people. We seem to have lost sight of the way that the judicial system in this country actually works. It does seem that if... Uh, if the newspaper or Facebook or Twitter or Flip Flop, whatever, TikTok, um, says that somebody is guilty, then they are guilty. They don't have to worry about any uh, evidence or going to trial or, or whatever. And it also always used to be the case that if someone was dead, that uh, they couldn't accuse them of anything because they're not there to defend themselves. Seems reasonable to me. So... I always had an issue with the the, the Jimmy Savile thing. Uh, the Operation U Treat was a complete and utter disaster, a complete cock up of the highest order. Um, we all know Savile was a bit of a weirdo, but um, I don't really think anybody was in a position to categorically decide his guilt outside of a court of law. Um, but Hey ho! The BBC uh, and and the media at, at large seem to think that that was okay. In the same way that the media sort of either ignores a little bit or or takes on board the fact that we've got activist groups, Marxist hard left wing activist groups, that are insisting and sometimes taking it upon themselves uh, to pull down statues. Look, we all know that slavery um, was and is. Uh, an abhorrent thing. But have we overlooked the fact that not all slaves were black? Um, in fact, lots of them were white. And one of the, the, the races that were enslaved vastly actually was the Irish. Um, and I don't hear them complaining about reparations and pulling down statues and stuff. Yes, OK, 150 years, 200 years ago, it was a terrible thing. But the point is, it wasn't in those days. It was wrong, but it wasn't illegal. Um, so to be pulling down statues of people that have otherwise uh, contributed great things um, to our society, to me seems a little bit ridiculous. And now we've got that dreadful toe rag Khan. Oh, I can't wait to be shot of him. What right has that man got to try and change the face of our capital city? Um, how dare he? And how dare he appoint a bunch of woke left-wing celebrity idiots? Did you see that prat uh, kicking off at the... I uh, don't, don't know what the event was, but the Queen was there. And he's giving it large. And oh, it, Somebody should have just knocked him spark out, to be honest. And then, two weeks later, he gets booted out because it turns out that he's actually a massive anti-Semite. Well, there you go. This is the intelligence that we've got with Khan. Um, this is why the crime rate is absolutely out of control in London, because he's more concerned about appeasing the woke left than he is dealing with the out-of-control out of knife crime, the murders, the attacks, the assaults that are going on on our capital streets. When the last person that actually sorted that out was Boris, and we all can't wait to start throwing stones at him for some misdemeanour that he's performed. But... I digress. So, if we're going to pull those statues down, and I don't believe that we should, then let's also focus, shall we, on Mr Eric Gill. If you don't know who Eric Gill is, Eric Gill was um, a sculptor. He died, I think, in, uh, in the 1940s. Um, but Mr Gill um, created the... Uh, 
it's a, a, a sculpture that, that stands over Broadcasting House, which was the BBC's headquarters for many, many years, um, and is still there to this day. Um, he has various sculptures in universities, but of course they won't worry too much about taking it down because our universities are now pretty much entirely manned. Um, all of the tutors and the professors are left-wing Marxist, um, and they're teaching that to our to our young. It's, it sort of follows, really, that uh, it, it, it took a, a Wally-like Blair to lower the bar uh, for university edu education to the extent where we could get lots and lots and lots of pretty mediocre, average uh, people into our key universities, places like Oxford and uh, Cambridge, uh, because they are more malleable. Uh, so the, the left-wing professors... Uh, and lecturers can mould them and brainwash them into believing that uh, their point of view is right and that they must never, ever listen to anybody else's point of view. Never ceases to amaze me. Uh, there's a couple of great channels. Uh, if you haven't found them, you should pop out. Oh, in fact, I'm going to put... I think I'm allowed to put links in the bottom. Um, Maya Tusi and Alex Belfield. Both of them, I would think, are, are probably proper journalists. And, yeah, they probably le lean... More so Maya, I would say, leans a little bit towards the right. Alex is pretty much down the middle. But what they do have is common sense. Um, and they, they report on, on stories that they are in the press, but they're well buried. Check them out, because these guys have been calling this sort of stuff out for ages. And I'm sure it won't be long before somebody tries to shut them up. But at least they're open, as, I'm, as am I, to other people's point of view. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, it's absolutely fine. Give me some some facts that will change my mind. Um, not an opinion. Opinion is an opinion. Um, I'm not interested in, in things that offend people. Offence is taken, it isn't given. Um, the facts don't care about people's feelings. So let's look into Mr Eric Gill and his uh, sculptures at the BBC and his sculptures at various at universities around the country, at various uh, hotels. The Midland Hotel, Broadway, um, has one of his sculptures. They're, they're, he's all over the place. Why are we not tearing those down? That's what I want to know. Because if they're going to attack Mr Winston Churchill, then I want somebody up there with an hammer and bolster bashing that thing off a broadcasting house and everywhere else where this man who sexually assaulted his two teenage daughters and wait for it the family dog yes <laughs> it's okay for his stuff to be hanging up in our universities and over the bbc's broadcasting house disgusting mm -hmm.